For this week's edition of Louisiana Outdoors, we're here inside Superior Bait and Tackle. Mr. Mark Matthews is with us. Good morning, sir. You have been very busy. Mr. Matthews took a recent trip to Washington, D.C., to our nation's capital, meeting with our U.S. representation, Congressman Garrett Graves, from right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, a very important conversation on the future of federal fishing regulations. Right. Uh, one of the points that, Mr. that Garrett made was if we're, you know, even if you're not a, say, per se, a snapper fisherman, but you do enjoy the sport of fishing, that we really need to get this hashed out uh, on a federal level so that the problem doesn't start growing into other areas. Some of the possible options moving forward, what are some of the things that could benefit the recreational fishermen moving forward? Well, uh, you know, one of the points that was made in the meeting is that, you know, we're having to make plans on what to stock as a retailer, what to have, and customers, you know, that should I buy a new boat, should I not, uh, should I, you know, renovate the camp, maybe fix the roof that leaks, uh, but then come to find out, they close the season on you. You know, when I go to market and make a big, large purchase, um, just because they close the season, the, the vendor still needs to get paid. And once they do shut the season down, you know, there's just no way to come out of that. U.S. congressmen like Gary Graves and some others, especially here from Louisiana, usually have the best interest of our local residents in mind, but they can get involved too. They can always join in in this conversation. They oh, can always contact our representatives. Yeah, absolutely. And it was uh, quite an eye opener. The, you know, I was taken up there by Chris Macaluso, uh, and I, I didn't realize just how dedicated how knowledgeable and how hard he works. Uh, if you know if you know him or you run across him, you really need to thank him and Garrett Graves and, and the Louisiana Congressional group up there and our senators because they are there is cohesion there. They're all pulling on the rope at the same time. I couldn't be, you know, I was uh, I, I was dumbfounded uh, just how respected uh, Garrett Graves is by other colleagues from other states, even states that that uh, are not coastal states that really don't have a dog in the hunt. Uh, they were looking to Garrett uh, for for a lot of direction and understanding, and it, and it was I was really impressed on how hard uh, Chris Macaluso and, and and Garrett do work in, uh, on this project. That's good for many local residents to hear that strong leadership is not only here in Baton Rouge but also in our nation's capital. We should as be well. very 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 proud. Mr. Mark Matthews. Hey, thank you. Glad you enjoyed the big trip. Good to have you back in town. We'll have much more Local 33 news today after the break. That'll do it for this week's edition of Louisiana Outdoors here at Superior Bait and Tackle.